Hello, and welcome to Messages of Revival Podcast. This is Basil Howard Brown. It is so good to have you with us today. I'm expecting the word to sink down deep into your heart. You get a revelation of God and His word and the plan that He has for your life because He's got some big plans ahead, and I'm excited about the future. You know, I'm sure there's many of you out there that are believing God, have been praying, uh, you know, for things to happen. And maybe sometimes you're waiting, uh, you know, a month or two or a year or two or even longer. I mean, there's things that we are believing God for, that we've been standing on the word and calling it in and calling it in. And it's been a number of years now. And we still trust in God, believe in God, because we know the promises of the Lord. And then there's other things that happen within days and even within months or weeks of the prayer. We see the miracle already manifesting itself. So a lot of people seem to lose heart and grow weary. Uh, They tend to back off of their prayer, um, you know, not understanding that God's working in the background. God's working on their behalf. And not understanding that God's timing is always perfect. So, you know, yesterday, um, my daughter and I were driving down the road. We were going to an appointment. And we were just talking about this very subject that I'm sharing with you today. uh, You know, about things that we prayed for. And we've been standing for, you know, the last year or two or three or four. And, you know, we haven't seen it happen yet. And... No, do I continue to pray that way? Do I continue to stand? Do I continue to believe, um, you know, God for that? And then the question came up, you know, what's actually happening in this time? And, you know, my response was patience. I mean, we learn patience in this in this walk with God. Uh, Timing is always very important with God. Uh, We can't force it. We can't make it happen. Uh, We can't. Uh, hurry up stuff. God knows what he's doing. That's why we call him God. That's why he's in control. And we let him do whatever he wants to do, however he wants to do it. And we continue to stand on his word, stand on his promises, and continue to walk by faith, trusting, knowing what God has promised he's also able to perform. And so, you know, patience is something that's being developed in us. I mean, there's people that say, Lord, give me patience and give it to me now. I mean, they can't even wait for patience. (laughs) So the bottom line is patience is a very good thing in the believer's heart to know that God's in control. God's doing something behind the scenes. God's setting it up. And there'll come a day when that breakthrough will happen and the miracle will be there for you. And then I began to share the scripture because it just popped up in my spirit. And that's found in the book of Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 31 says, "They, But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. I love that scripture. It's such a powerful scripture. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. If you're running and you're weary, you have to back up a little bit. You have to get back in the word, get back to the place where you started and then allow God to do whatever he wants to do. You know, when we put something on the table, when we believe in God for something, when we've laid it at his feet, we're not the ones that are striving to make this happen. We are the ones that are walking by faith, living by faith, trusting God, and we're patiently waiting for, uh, you know, the breakthrough, for the miracle, for the supernatural provision. Whatever it is that that you need in your life, God has got this for you. You just got to trust him and just wait a while, you know, uh, Wait a while. And in that in that waiting time, what do you do? You worship him. You praise him. You thank him. You give him glory for the, the answer. You, you see yourself in that position. The Bible says, call those things which be not as though they were. So you're already seeing yourself in that position of the breakthrough, the miracle, or the place that you believe in God that he's going to take you to, especially if it comes from the hand of the Lord. God's word is filled with promises. And there's many promises that God wants to fulfill in your heart and life and in mine and in everybody that's listening to this podcast. We just got to trust God continually and see this happen. 
out of the Amplified, let me read this out of the Amplified, it said, but those that wait for the Lord, who expect, look for, and hope in Him, shall change and renew their strength and power. They shall lift their wings and mount up close to God, as eagles mount up to the sun. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint or become tired. So, so you know, yes, the promise of the Lord. Uh, you know, you're waiting on me. And because of that, your strength will be renewed. So, so even in the wait, because people say, well, I've been waiting for, you know, X amount of years. Okay. In that wait, your strength can be renewed. You can mount up like, a, like an eagle. Uh, be soaring above everything, above your circumstances, above your situations, above whatever's going on in, in your life. And God can carry you through and you come out the other side victorious. You're victorious in everything you do and everything you say. Um, you know, patience is something that the body of Christ needs. Sometimes, you know, a God will drop a a vision or a thought or an idea or a plan in the heart of man. And then man has this idea that, oh, we got this vision. We got to go do this tomorrow. No, no, no. You have to walk it out. You have to, you have to wait upon the Lord. I follow ministries constantly and I, I look and see what God's done. And I also look back and go, okay, so, you know, in those times, it wasn't barren. But the plan or the vision that God had given them wasn't fulfilled. Now I'm looking at them going, wow, that vision is now being fulfilled. I can see it being fulfilled. There's a vision that God's given us as a ministry, and it's not being fulfilled yet. Uh, we're not barren. We are being blessed. We are being uh, taken care of. God's doing what he does, and we're trusting him, and we're not discouraged, and we're not down. But there'll come a day when suddenly that vision will begin to play out in front of us in, in the natural world we're living in, and we'll see that vision come to maturity. For what we've seen over the years, God will bring it to pass. If we try to make something happen, we could be uh, well before its time. And if it's before its time, it's not going to work. See, God's timing. It's always God's timing. It's not yours, not mine, not when we think it is. Um, you know, I believe this, that sometimes we waiting, waiting, waiting on the Lord, trusting him, believing him. And, you know, in our mind, we're like, oh, we should be doing this. Or we should be doing that and winning the world for Jesus. And, and, and you know what? God can take you through a, a year or two or three or four of believing him for something. And then when it breaks open and the time is right and you're ready and you can carry what God's giving you. He can speed that up so that the last four years actually feel like you haven't lost anything. Because right now you might be sitting going, well, if I had started this four years ago, we could have been a lot further down the road. Yeah, but but is it God's timing? You know, is it his plan? Is it his plan? Uh, you know, if you're striving in that, then you're striving in yourself. But when the time is right and God says, now step forward, he has the tools, he has everything you need to get the job done and see the vision fulfilled, then it's in his timing. And I'll tell you what God will do. God will speed up everything. So like the last four years, it, it doesn't mean anything. And suddenly you'll see the, 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 the fullness of the vision being fulfilled and God blessing and taking care of whatever needs to be taken care of. So I want to encourage people that are listening today. Maybe you are... You, you, you have a vision, you have a plan, you have an idea that God's dropped in your heart and, and you've been standing believing God for a week or two or a month or two or a year or two. Probably I'm talking to people that have been believing God for five, six, seven, eight years. Uh, you know, you know that this is still going to come to pass, but you're just not seeing it happen. Don't become dismayed. Don't become tired. Don't become weary. Press into God and let God sort this out for you. And then when he does, supernaturally, you will begin to see the blessing and the provision of God. When God sets it forth and he opens the door, no man is going to shut the door on you. And you're going to go through that door and you're going to see the signs and the wonders and miracles that God's promised you. And you see that vision fulfilled. So exercise your patience. And in that time of waiting, 
spend that time rejoicing. Never complain, because complaining will never get you anywhere. Rather spend that time rejoicing, trusting God, thanking Him for the miracle, thanking Him for the breakthrough. And I'm telling you right now, it is going to happen. When God has promised you something, when it's based upon His Word, and the foundation is there, I'm telling you right now, God will take you over the top, and you will be blessed, and you'll walk in victory. And that which God has promised to you, it will be fulfilled. So I'm excited. Look, many things, we have many things we want to do for God, but there's, there's the timing. And when it happens, let me tell you what, it's going to be an explosion. God's going to move in a powerful way. And we're going to see whole cities shaken by the power of God. We're living in the best times ever. We are living in the times of revival, times of the move of the Holy Spirit. And you might say, well, the world is crazy out there. Yes, yes, they are. They're crazy out there. But God is still on the throne. God is still moving in a powerful way. His word never returns void, but it accomplishes what it's been sent out to do. And I can tell you right now, as crazy as it gets out in there in the world, with inside of the body of Christ, with inside of those that would stand upon the word, let me tell you what, it is going to become even more glorious in these last days we're living in. And there are going to be supernatural miracles that are going to happen that is going to astound and and astound the world. They're going to be astounded at what God is doing within the church. So get ready, folks. God's doing something great. Don't become dismayed. Don't become disheartened. Press into God. You'll mount up like wings uh, uh, as eagles. You shall run. You shall not be weary. You shall walk and you shall not faint or you will not become tired. Hallelujah. God has a plan. God has a purpose. And God's going to carry you through. Let me, let me throw this out at you that if you... You know, if you have any questions, if you have anything you need prayer about, contact me. Uh, you can contact me on Instagram. Just write me a message on Instagram. Just look me up. Basil, B-A-Z-I-L, Basil Howard Brown. Look me up on, on a TikTok. we got a TikTok account, and we're going to start using that a lot more. You can write me on TikTok, or you can write me on Instagram, and, 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 you know, throw your question out. Throw throw something out that you believe in God for, that we can pray and believe God with you for. And uh, let's get connected and let's trust God and see God do some miraculous things. We love you. God bless you. Thank you for joining with today. And uh, soon we'll have another podcast back out. Share this one with your friends and family. And you know those that need a touch of heaven. And I believe this will be an encouraging word for them. God bless you so much. Let me pray with you right now. Father, I pray for every listener that's listened to this broadcast, that Lord God, that you'll touch them by your spirit, by your anointing, that Lord God, the patience that they need will be there to carry them through, that Father God, they realize that as they trust in you and standing on the word, that you are working behind the scenes for them and that which you have promised them, that which you have declared upon their life, Lord God, it will come to pass. And that, Father God, they can stand upon this scripture and, and, and see the victory, see the results, and see the breakthroughs that they need. I pray, Lord God, even right now, everybody that's listening to this podcast is comforted by your peace and touched by your joy. And they get filled and saturated with your presence. And, Father, we give you praise, honor, and glory for that, Lord, in Jesus' mighty, wonderful, precious name. And everybody that's listening to this podcast said, Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you all. We love you. If you don't know Jesus and need to rededicate your life right now, pray this prayer with me. Father, I come to you in Jesus' name. I confess right now that Jesus, you are my Lord and my Savior. Come into my heart. Take out the hardened heart and give me a heart of flesh. Change me, Lord. Let me never be the same again. I repent and turn from my ways. I make you Lord of my life right now. Use me, Lord, in these days we are in. I'm ready for your coming and always will be. I love you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul and setting me free. 
Amen. Now, if you pray this prayer, I would love to hear from you. So please email me at revivalpodcasthb at gmail.com. God bless you. Thank you for listening to Messages of Revival Podcast. For more, subscribe to Messages of Revival Podcast on Anchor, Google Podcast, and iTunes. And share this podcast with somebody that needs to be uplifted and blessed. God bless you.